I think people sometimes think back 10 years and they think of you all as kids. You're not a kid anymore. No, definitely not. <laughs> Megan Tarpey is a freshman at Marist College now. Ten years ago, she was in her third grade classroom at Sandy Hook Elementary when the gunfire started. She doesn't want to talk about the details of that horrific day, but obviously it's had a profound effect on her. I think it impacts me on like more of an everyday basis than anyone could ever like imagine, honestly. Like I think it makes me very like cautious person i'm always like looking around very like on edge all the time is it hard to trust things yes it's very hard to trust people or like feel safe in being at home or anywhere like in a grocery store like it's very hard to feel safe and because you really never know what's going to happen so. yeah i mean it strikes me that you and your you and your classmates in the whole school were exposed to like the worst of humanity in one day i was so young at the time and we were all really just started, starting to like experience our childhood. We kind of got that like taken away from us. Mm -hmm. Do you remember a time from before? No. Mm. I wouldn't say so. I feel like it's been like my entire life. She stays in close touch with friends from Sandy Hook, but she's also making new connections at college. Part of the campus ministry, she enjoys doing community service. And because of what she lived through, she says she hopes to go to law school and become a prosecutor. I just think I want to see and be a part of people, like the bad people in our society going, getting punished for what they did. Because I think enough times, like, it doesn't really happen nowadays sometimes. You want to be on the side of justice? Hopefully. Yeah. A quarter mile from the new elementary school, a memorial opened last month. I think every time I go back to that, the whole property of the school makes me feel a little, like, at peace in a way. Because when I look at the school, I think it's beautiful. And I think kids will feel safe going there. And that's what any of us would want. The names of those lost are inscribed on the granite circle. It makes me very upset that they couldn't live the life that I'm living now because I never want to take life for granted. I know none of my friends and I do because it made us realize how precious life is and how much we need to appreciate it. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.